Breaking SpaceX news. The Starship launch pad is undergoing critical repairs as the countdown to Flight 7 continues. At Starbase, teams are racing against time, inspecting every inch of the massive launch mount. But that's not all. SpaceX just revealed plans for an incredible expansion of their Star Factory that's pushing the boundaries of rocket manufacturing. Meanwhile, construction crews are breaking ground on a new orbital launch mount that's set to transform space access forever. And here's something you might not have heard. It's not happening at Starbase. The future of Starship is expanding across multiple sites. In an exciting development for the commercial space industry, Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket is finally ready for its debut launch, marking a new chapter in the reusable rocket race. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The race against time at Starbase has taken an unexpected turn. As crews work tirelessly to repair the launch pad after Flight 6, a discovery beneath the protective shielding has raised both eyebrows and hopes. Hidden damage to secondary support structures initially sparked concern, but SpaceX engineers rapidly developed an innovative solution that could actually make the pad more resilient than ever before. This breakthrough comes just in time, as the January 11th target for Flight 7 looms on the horizon. In the shadow of the massive launch tower, a drama of engineering ingenuity unfolds. The mystery of the chopstick catch arms, those colossal mechanical appendages designed to catch falling rockets, deepens with each passing day. During routine testing, as these massive arms rose to their catch position 420 feet above the Texas soil, sharp-eyed observers noticed something extraordinary two peculiar plates mounted on the chopstick padding. What makes these modifications truly fascinating isn't just their presence, but their potential to revolutionize rocket recovery. Sources close to the project suggest these aren't simply test instruments. They're part of a sophisticated new system that could transform how we recover spacecraft. Some engineers believe these devices could increase catch success rates from 70% to an astounding 95% though SpaceX remains characteristically quiet about the details. The Ship Quick Disconnect, SQD, tells an equally compelling story of persistence and innovation. After countless hours of analysis and dozens of failed prototypes, SpaceX engineers finally cracked the code. The breakthrough came from an unlikely source. A young engineer's experience with high-performance racing cars led to the implementation of the new metal mesh protection system. This simple yet brilliant solution has virtually eliminated post-launch repairs, slashing turnaround times and potentially saving millions in maintenance costs. But perhaps the most dramatic transformation is happening at the Star Factory, where SpaceX is literally breaking down walls to reshape the future of rocket production. The newly revealed connection between the main factory and office building isn't just an architectural feature, it's a symbol of SpaceX's commitment to breaking down barriers between design and production. Workers who once had to brave Texas weather to collaborate can now move seamlessly between departments, accelerating innovation and problem solving. The announcement of the Gigabay sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry. This isn't just another expansion. It's a fundamental reimagining of rocket manufacturing. The facility's foundations are being laid using advanced vibration dampening technology, allowing for unprecedented precision in rocket assembly. When complete, it will be capable of supporting the simultaneous construction of up to seven starships, a capacity that would have seemed impossible just years ago. Ship 33's story exemplifies this new era of rapid development. As the first block two design approaches its static fire test, it carries with it dozens of improvements learned from previous flights. Each modification, from its enhanced heat shield to its redesigned engine configuration, represents countless hours of engineering refinement. The pressure is immense. Success here could accelerate SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule, while failure could force a re-evaluation of the entire Block II design. The environmental approval process has become its own battlefield. The FAA's draft assessment suggesting an increase to 25 annual launches represents more than just a regulatory change. It's a testament to SpaceX's improving safety record and environmental consciousness. Behind the scenes, the company has implemented groundbreaking sound suppression technology and wildlife protection measures. 
demonstrating that rapid space development and environmental responsibility can coexist. At Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A, history is being made in plain sight. The construction of the new catch-only tower isn't just another launch facility, it's a bridge between past and future. This pad, which once launched Apollo missions to the moon, is being transformed to support humanity's next great leap. The engineering team faces unique challenges here as they work to integrate modern technology with historic infrastructure while battling Florida's unpredictable weather. The Falcon Heavy selection for the Dragonfly mission to Titan opens another fascinating chapter in space exploration. This car-sized drone will journey nearly a billion miles to explore a world that's both eerily familiar and utterly alien. Titan's thick atmosphere and low gravity make it the only world besides Earth where powered flight has been achieved. The mission's $250 million price tag, remarkably low for such an ambitious venture, demonstrates how SpaceX's innovations are making the impossible accessible. In a surprising development, private communications between mission planners suggest Dragonfly might carry additional instruments beyond its published payload. These could include experimental sensors designed to detect potential biosignatures in Titan's methane lakes, a capability that could revolutionize our search for extraterrestrial life. The impact of these developments extends far beyond SpaceX or even the space industry. Local communities near Starbase are experiencing an economic renaissance, with new businesses and educational programs sprouting up to support the growing aerospace sector. High school students in Brownsville are now building and launching their own model rockets, inspired by the massive vehicles taking shape in their backyard. As these various threads of progress interweave, they create a tapestry of transformation. From the mysterious modifications of the chopsticks to the ambitious expansion of production facilities, from regulatory victories to interplanetary missions. SpaceX is not just building rockets, they're reconstructing our relationship with space itself. Each advance brings us closer to a future where space travel is not just frequent, but routine, where the impossible becomes everyday, and where humanity's reach extends far beyond our home planet. The next few months will be crucial as Flight 7 approaches and construction continues across multiple sites the pace of innovation shows no signs of slowing. Success could accelerate humanity's journey to the stars, while setbacks could force re-evaluation and delays. But one thing remains clear, the transformation of space access is no longer a distant dream. It's happening now, one launch, one innovation, one breakthrough at a time. As we witness these transformative moments in space exploration, from Starbase's expanding capabilities to the ambitious Dragonfly mission, one thing becomes crystal clear. We're living through a pivotal chapter in human spaceflight. SpaceX's rapid innovations, from the mysterious chopstick modifications to the groundbreaking Gigabay, are not just technical achievements. They're stepping stones toward making space accessible to all of humanity. The next few months will be decisive, with Flight 7's approaching launch and New Glenn's debut on the horizon. These missions represent more than just rockets reaching for the stars. They symbolize humanity's unwavering determination to push beyond our earthly boundaries. If you're as excited as we are about these incredible developments in space exploration, make sure to hit that subscribe button to join our growing community on Elon Musk 24 Hours. Your support helps us continue bringing you the latest and most detailed coverage of SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your theories about those mysterious chopstick modifications. Don't forget to like and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Together, we're witnessing history in the making, one launch at a time. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll bring you exclusive updates on SpaceX's latest developments. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, keeping you connected to humanity's greatest adventure. In 1969, President Richard Nixon made history with a groundbreaking phone call from the Oval Office to Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin as they stood on the moon's surface. Now, over half a century later, 
SpaceX is preparing for another pivotal moment in space exploration that could see similar historic calls being made from the White House to astronauts on lunar soil. 2025 is shaping up to be a transformative year for space exploration, with SpaceX's Starship program accelerating at an unprecedented pace. Kathy Luters, general manager of SpaceX's Boca Chica operations, just unveiled ambitious plans that have sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry. With a target of 25 Starship launches planned for next year, that's one launch every two weeks. SpaceX isn't just pushing boundaries, they're completely redefining what's possible. But the real bombshell? This is merely the beginning. From the revolutionary booster catching system demonstrated in Flight 5, to the groundbreaking orbital refueling technology needed for NASA's Artemis III mission, SpaceX is laying the groundwork for something far more ambitious, multiple launches per day. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. On November 14th, as the early morning sun rose over Florida's space coast, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket thundered into the sky, carrying 24 Starlink satellites into orbit. But this wasn't just another launch. It marked SpaceX's 368th successful booster landing, a testament to how far we've come in the reusable rocket revolution. This particular booster, a veteran of 18 missions, tells a story of persistence and innovation that few could have imagined when SpaceX first began. The journey to this point has been nothing short of extraordinary. Back in 2010, when SpaceX first launched the Falcon 9, skeptics questioned whether reusable rockets were even possible. That year, they managed just two launches, one in June and another in December. From 2010 to 2019, they completed 77 launches total. Now, in a striking demonstration of exponential growth, they're achieving more launches in a single year than they did in their first decade of operations. In 2024 alone, the Falcon 9 has already soared to space 100 times, making what was once extraordinary seem almost routine. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. While the Falcon 9's achievements are impressive, they're merely a prelude to what's coming. Enter Starship, the largest and most powerful rocket ever built. Standing taller than any rocket in history and boasting unprecedented capabilities, Starship isn't just an evolution in rocket design, it's a revolution in space transportation. Recent footage from Flight 5 captured a moment that left even veteran aerospace engineers in awe. The successful catching of the super heavy booster by the massive mechanical arms nicknamed Mechazilla. This wasn't just a technical achievement, it was a glimpse into the future of space travel. The precision required to catch a massive rocket booster with mechanical arms is comparable to threading a needle while riding a motorcycle at supersonic speeds. During what seemed like a routine presentation at the Mexico Space Agency's National Congress of Space Activities, Kathy Luters, who oversees SpaceX's Boca Chica operations, revealed plans that sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry. SpaceX isn't just planning for occasional Starship launches. They're targeting 25 missions in 2025. That's one launch every two weeks, a cadence that would have seemed impossible just a few years ago. But Elon Musk, never one to think small, quickly added fuel to the fire. We will be much faster than that, he declared, 